<coughs> il est YouTube. Um, well, so tonight I plan to make a couple of cold, a couple of cold calls. Um, but I, I'm currently feeling uh, quite unprepared, you know. Um, but uh, well, the main goal for t for tonight's cold call sessions um, will aim to uh, you know to find out you know the um, you know the cause the overall cause for proxy shipping British goods to China and I uh, you know I had thought some thoughts about browsing you know the you know the British you know the um, the, the British um, government's web, web page to to find out the current status quo um, between Great Britain and China and I came across and I came across a document, you know, titled China Commercial Regulatory Summary April dash June 2022. And I just like um, to read it uh, aloud, you know, while I, I, I while I study it, you know, also as part of the, you know, the the the, the preparations, you know, to to get myself more prepared to um, to articulate so so that I can so that I can better articulate um, w what I have have to say to those you know who I code call to who, who I might be code um, code code um, calling to in my lousy British accent. So without further ado, let's read it. Um, for as uh, much as I can. So China com Commercial Regulatory Summary a April June 20 2022, a quarterly summary of the key Chinese policies affecting the UK business. This product aims to inform new and expanding UK businesses selling to or located in China about the com about the commercial regulatory issues most likely to affect them. We are providing factual information rather than analysis. All feedback welcome. So apparently they, uh, you know, they, they are uploaded and published um, this, this particular document in the so-called open document format. <laughs> Not sure uh, why they did that. Probably, you know, in, in order to, you know, to 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 to, to cover a wider range of o a wider range of o audiences slash viewers who may not have uh, a, a licensed um, Microsoft Word or M Microsoft Office suite. You know. Well, I don't know, but you know, let's uh, fi find that out later. So, such um, summary in in Q two two thousand and twenty two, the government rolled out both national and regional consumption stimulus measures in the hope of relieving the economic slowdown. Increasing international travel and personal mobility is a key element of the stimulus package. China also revised five um china also re revised five major legislations in anti-monopoly intellectual property overseas listing um vo <coughs> vocational e education and sports and initiated two investment laws covering both domestic and overseas investors in addition the c the ca um the the, the CAC launched a, a draft for comments on standardized contract for exporting personal information. Not sure why they said that. You know, why the hell did they, they, they have to they have to brought um, they have to bring that up? I don't know. Yeah, but why is why why don't we proceed? 
Yeah, vocational education, not vacation. Vocational. <laughs> vocational. But I hear. Vocational. But I hear, and from what I hear, based on what I hear from the dictionary, from from Cam from Cambridge dictionary, it says vocational instead of vocational. <laughs> Vocational. That's the American pronunciation, and this is the British. One. Vocational. 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 Yeah. But I, uh, but I don't know. Yeah. Let's resume. Cross cut cutting policies. Number one, consumption stimulus measures. On the 23rd of May, the State Council announced a relief package of 33 measures to stabilize the economy. It reassured foreign invested enterprises by increasing business travel to China and, in, and improving personal mobility for business in the country. It also greenlighted Chinese tech co companies to list overseas with conditions. In addition, the relief package mentioned the ongoing revision of the foreign investment encouraged catalog. Read the announcement in um, in, 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 in Mandarin Chinese and the media report both in Mandarin Chinese and in English. On, uh, on, on 26th of May, following the State Council's relief package, Shenzhen was the first city to release the 30 measures to boost sustained recovery of consumption. The measures also listed detailed number of various subsidies for business and coupons for consumers, including the um, RMB or CNY, 10,000 roughly in pound and sterling, 1,182 uh, coupon for new vehicle buyers. The, um, the, t the, the, 20, <coughs> the 20 additional quota of car registration in the city and the 15% off price for electronic products and home appliance. The city will, will procure more domestically produced medical equipment whilst tightening the imports. Beijing, Shanghai, Hainan were among others to follow up with respective local measures. Read the announcement and the media report, CN slash EN. Um, 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 Clause no number, policy number three. On 10th of April, the CPC Central Committee and the State Council joint, jointly released the opinions on accelerating the construction of a national unified market. The, um, the opinions is the key implementation of China's dual, dual circulation strategy. It aimed to break down local protectionism and market segmentation by standardizing approaches and reinforcing e and reinforcing equitable treatment and ultimately um, simulating domestic consumption and production. Read the announcement in Mandarin Chinese and the media report, both available in Mandarin Chinese slash English. Um, Leg um, legislations um, clause number four on on twenty fourth of June the National People's Congress NPC released the revised anti monopoly law with changes taking effect on the first of August the law will will prohibit using using data and algorithm and algorithms technology and platform rules to dominate the market, Article Number 9. It also raised the potential penalty of breach to up to 10% of, of the company revenue or CNY RMB, 5 million, roughly in, 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 in pound and sterling, um, 61, um, 60, 616 thousand pounds sterling uh, according to article 56 read the announcement in cn and the, the media report in cn in mainland chinese clause number five on um, <coughs> excuse me 
on 20 <clears throat> on 20th on 27th june the state administration for market regulation s a s a m r s a m r not a s m r <laughs> s a m r released the draft released the draft state council's rules of anti-monopoly review the draft imposed mandatory anti-monopoly reviews on companies whose total global turnover reached cme whose global turnover reached rmb um, 12 billion roughly 1.5 billion in great in great britain pounds and sterling the benchmark was raised from the was raised from the current cny 10 billion roughly um great um roughly um e equivalent to 1.2 billion in in great in great britain pound and sterling read the announcement in mandarin chinese and media report both available in mandarin chinese and in english tax clause six on 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 30 on the 31st of may the ministry of finance and of and the state taxation administration jointly released the announcement of tax cut for passenger vehicles purchase tax levy on passenger vehicles with up to 2.0 liter engines and priced up to to rmb 30 um priced up to rmb um um 300 thousand roughly equivalent to um 36 thousand british great britain pounds and sterling will be half to five percent of the sticker price read the announcement cn and the media report both available in mandarin chinese and in english procurement number seven on on the 20 uh, on the 25th of may the mof released the notice on pushing forward governed procurement under framework agreement imposing extra screaming on imported um special instrument and equipment example testing um for example testing experimental and medical devices read the announcement in mainland chinese digital subtitle or subheading digital N number eight on 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 third on 30th of may beijing released the action plan the op of opening and developing the full industry on <coughs> on third on 30th of may beijing released the action plan of opening and developing the full industrial chain of digital economy in the two zones the demonstration zone for services and the free trade zone the city will proactively consider opening value-added telecoms services to overseas investors and exploring methods of international cooperation <coughs> in cross-border data services it will also roll out measures for data being evaluated and treated as corporate assets read the announcement in mandarin chinese and the media report in mandarin chinese number nine on <clears throat> on 30th june the cyber security administration of china cac released the draft of its provisions on standard contracts for exit of personal information for public comment although the standardized language ensures auto um or, although the standardized language ensures automatic compliance to chinese law the exit can still be terminated in one of the following four scenarios these include if the if the export one is a is a critical information infrastructure operator number two handles the personal info um of 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 uh, over one million people number three has exported the personal information of over of over 100,000 people since the previous um, 1st of January N number four have exported the sensitive personal information of more than 
10,000 people since previous, um, since previous um, 1st January. Notably, those provisions will have more impact on big tech firms and, and corporations exporting large amounts of data. Read the announcement in Mandarin Chinese. Subheading Intellectual Property Number 10 on the on the 26th on the 26th of April the the SAMR released the 2022 legislative work plan with 10 of the with 10 of the uh, 69 matters relating to intellectual property law specific legis le specific legislative plans include formulating China's first ge geographical indication law, revision of the trademark law and its implementing regulations, and the measures for the registration and management of collective and certification trademark. Read the announcement in Mandarin Chinese and the legal summary in English. <laughs> okay, so... Um, number 11. Um, N number 11. On 9th May, the National Medical Products Administration, NMPA, published the draft amendments of implementing regulations of the Drug Administration Law for public comment. On IP, it, pu it proposes to delete the new drug term defined as being new to the Chinese market, Article 77. Once amended, the definition of new drug will be consistent across legislative documents, including the patent term um, extension for new pharma patents set out in of the patent law um, 2021 uh, uh, um, article 42.3. Read the announcement in Mandarin Chinese and the legal summary in English. Link pro provided, you know, as above. <laughs> so, <clears throat> number 12, on, on the 11th of May, the China National Intellectual Property Administration, CN, CNIPA, released a work plan of launching the Open Patent License Pilot Program for, from May to November 2022. The pilot program will be implemented in eight major provinces and, and municipalities, including Beijing, Shanghai, Shandong, etc., where the local IP offices will be required to build a licensing information publication platform and function as the broker between patent owners and licensees. Read the announcement, both available in Mandarin Chinese and in English. So another uh, section of this document, sectors, climate change, um, 13, on 23rd of June, China released, the in China, China released the Industrial Sector Efficiency Improvement Action Plan. It sets efficiency benchmarks for energy, in, for energy intensive equipment, such as data centers, electronic motors and transformers and aimed to source 30 percent of industrial power from electricity um, by 2025 it also prioritized steel it also prioritized steel petrochemical and building materials as the high emission sectors to accelerate the energy transformation read the announcement in mandarin chinese <clears throat> subheading a energy um, since, since, since we just finished um, the subheading climate change you yeah so subheading energy number 14 on 1st of june the national development and reform commission ndrc released the released the um the the, the 14th five-year plan for renewable energy development the plan aims to supply 33 of the national power demand through renewable energy by by 2025, 18% um, excluding hydro, 18% um, excluding hydropower. It will um, it will also accelerate the replacement of fossil fuel energy by by renewables 
through expanding the infrastructure, rolling out market stimulus and facilitating long distance and cross region supply from west to east. Read the announcement in Mandarin Chinese and the media report, both available in Mandarin Chinese and in English. Financial services, number 14. On, on the 2nd of April, China Securities Regulatory a Commission, CSRC, released a draft of the revised confidentiality rules of Chinese companies listing overseas for public comment. The draft removed the requirement for on-site inspection to be conducted only by Chinese regulators. To be conducted only by Chinese regulators. <clears throat> it allows Chinese companies to provide financial information for audit purpose of public of public listing for the for the overseas regulate for the overseas regulators as long as not disclosing state secrets read the announcement both available in mandarin chinese and english and the media report both available in english and mandarin chinese so number 16 on, on 6th April, the People's Bank of China, PBOC, released a draft financial stability law for, for public comment. The draft initiated a guarantee fund to cover investment risks, Article 29, and for the first time, authorized local government to deal with local illegal fund raising, Article 6. Read the announcement in Mandarin Chinese and the media report available both in english and in mandarin chinese article number um no it's not article number but uh, yeah just simply not number 17 on um, on the 20th april the npc released the futures and derivatives law taking effect on <clears throat> on first august it marked the first national legislation regulating futures and the over-the-counter derivatives in impacting both Chinese enterprises in overseas markets and overseas perspectives for, Chi for China's market are Article um, 118 and 119. The law also clarified the registration requirement for cross-border trading, Article 120, and the reciprocal international regulatory cooperation mechanism article 124 read the announcement in mandarin chinese and the legal summary in english so sub subheading health on 10th of may the ndrc released the fourth um the ndrc released the the 14th five-year plan for for bioeconomic development. It was a national framework aiming to accelerate homegrown technologies of bioagriculture, bioenergy, biopharmacy, and biosecurity risk prevention and control systems. Heilongjiang, Nanjing, and Yunnan also accordingly released regional plans. Read the announcement in Mandarin Chinese and the media report in Mandarin Chinese and in English. 19. On, on, on 25th of June, the State Council released a plan of 21 tasks for medical and health system reform in 2022. It aimed to expand the volume-based procurement VBP of drugs to cover, to cover 350 items by the end of, <coughs> by the end of 2022. The 7th VBP bind, binding takes place on, 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 <coughs> on July 12th, co covering 61 items of drugs for tumors, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and influenza. Um, or I, I don't know how to pronounce this one. Let's check the dictionary instead. This one is a... Oh, excuse me. Not sure about how to pronounce this. 
That's quite hard. That's uh, Oceltamivir. Uh, Oceltamivir, okay. It's called Oceltamivir. So, so the seventh VBP binding takes place on, on, on 12th July, covering 61 items of drug for tumors, cardiovascular diseases, diabetes, and influenza. I'll say, I'll say, I'll say, tan Meyer. Oseltamivir. Oseltamivir. The plan pledged to consider procuring high-value medical devices and bringing in in and bringing in innovative, bringing in inno innovative drugs with high clinical value into China's market. Read the announcement in Mandarin Chinese. Um. Yeah. So. Give me a minute. <laughs> innovative. It's in innovative. Innovatory. Innovative. Innovative. Yeah. Um, the plan pledged to consider procuring high-value medical devices and bringing in innovative drugs with high clinical value into China's market. Read the read the announcement in Mandarin Chinese. Subheading, sub subheading, e e education. Um, twenty on twentieth of April, the NPC released the revised vocational education law, coming into effect on the first of May. The new law weighted vocational education the same as general education, Article Three, and prohibited, and prohibited discrimin discriminative. Policies on Further Education, Employment and Career Development, Article 53. It welcomes international cooperation, sh um, student exchange, and overseas resources. Article 13. Read the announcement in Mandarin Chinese and the policy analysis in English. Um, sport on, 20 on 25th June. The NPC released the revised sports law, taking effect on the 1st of January 2023. The law welcomes private investments and, in, and, and innovations in areas such as sporting goods manufacturing, sports facilities, and sports services. Article 71 and 74. Read the announcement in Mandarin Chinese and the, and the legislative history in Mandarin Chinese. Yeah. Okay. Legislative. Legislative. It's pronounced legislative. It's not legislative. It's not legislative. 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 But, but I, all, I, I often hear pe people saying legislative. 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 Yeah. Never mind. Um, sports. Yeah. Yeah, I, I have read that. Yeah. Read the announcement in Mandarin Chinese and the legislative history in Mandarin Chinese. Legislative. Yeah. Legislative. And uh, subheading business communities. We are about to finish reading this document. Um, 22 on, on um, number 22. On 31st of May, the British Chamber of Commerce in China released its 2022, released its 2022, um, position paper bo available both in English and in Mandarin Chinese over <coughs> over 650 members responded with optimism about China's market in medium to long term dynamic zero COVID-19 response ambiguous 
data legislation and tightened public procurement 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 opportunities remain the major concerns um <clears throat> 23 on 17th of may the american chamber of commerce in china released its um released its its 24th um edition of the american business in china white paper available both in english and in and in mandarin chinese about two-thirds of the of the members still believe china remains a priority about two-thirds of the members still believe china remains a prior priority market the majority of which are not considering relocating However, key challenges remain, including bilateral tensions, exten extensive market access barriers, protectionism, an opaque regulatory system, and discriminatory enforcement. On 20th of, um, 20th, 24 not number 24 <clears throat> on 20th june the europe the, the european union chamber of commerce in china released its business confidence survey 2022 both available in english and in mandarin chinese 60 percent of members 60 percent of members expected more difficulties in running business in china half of them said china's business environment was becoming more more um half of them said half of them half of them <laughs> said china's business environment was becoming more politicized po um, politicized politic po politicized <laughs> um I issues around covid 19 in china's economic slowdown were the top challenges for the majority yeah that's quite tough. I have to, you know, no, um, no doubt uh, about that. Politicize. 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 Not, not politicize. <laughs> politicize. Yeah. Um. Let's uh, read that again. Um. Number four. Um, n number 24 on 20th of june the european union chamber of commerce in china released its business confidence survey 2022 <clears throat> both available in english and mandarin chinese 60 percent of members expected more difficulties in running business in china half of them said china's business environment was becoming more politicized politicized <laughs> um, half of them said china's business environment was becoming more politicized politicized not politic sized politicized not politic sized <laughs> half of them said china's business environment was becoming more politic sized politicized half of them Half of them said China's business environment was becoming more politicized. Politicized. Yeah. Issues around COVID-19 and China's economic slowdown were the top challenges for the majority. So, yeah. Special thanks to sector policy leads in the in the China network. Gao Gao Ge, Creative Industries, Jason Li Sport, G Jia Chen Health, Liu Zhuang IP, Liu Mu Ge, Liu Mu Ge Climate Change, Chen 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 Infrastructure, Sun Wei, um, <coughs> Agriculture and Food and Drink, Tan Tan Wei Fei, Tan Wei Fei Education, Contact um. Um, contact the China Trade Policy Unit if you would like to be added or removed from the distribution list or if you would like to discuss the above in more detail. Please feel free to forward this news 
letter. Previous editions here, hyperlink provide, apparently. You can also access overseas business risk and intellectual property re reports online. Trade policy unit, economic, environment, and trade policy, British Embassy, Beijing, end of document. That's quite interesting. It has, uh, you know, has quite a lot of uh, interesting in information included in in it. You know, w which I ha I'll have to find some some other time to to study them and read them aloud. You know, why not check out the you know the white papers you know, first? Position paper, blah blah blah. Yeah. British Chambers. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching and listening to this video. Um, I'll, I'll, t I'll have to take a break. If you don't mind, yeah, it's so long. Yeah. Anyway, guys, but it's it's quite it's actually sh shorter than I expect. Um, nevertheless, thanks very much again for your kind audience. And yeah, God bless. Hope to see you guys next time on YouTube. Cheers. Goodbye. Au revoir.